All right, all right, real quick. What's in this video? We've got how to get fish out of heavily planted tanks, panda guppy pairing, pond updates, rainbow fish size and distractions, night fishing, raising water hardness, guppies in love, rainbow babies, rice fishing babies, fry and Daphne a hack, frog invader, musical fish, celebes, half beaks, prego, what they should look like, Taiwan lily, a lot more Daphne, pink flamingos, wild star, sexing panda gar, red tail mini substitute, really good idea. You know, the red tails, they're huge, but this fish fit a lot more of them in a space looks just as cool especially in a school uh some paint some painting rope fish cuddling project planning and performance algae breeding nurseries and more so just in this video all this check it out a lot has been going on over here time to update you guys it's been a couple crazy weeks got a lot to catch you guys up with some of you guys may have seen in the live stream more things done but i'm about to give you guys a ton of content catch you guys up with a few videos we're not going to be able to do it all in this video but stay tuned we'll get through them in more videos and catch you up this is about what the fish room looked like before catfish are coming out Finally getting comfortable in here for that nighttime feeding. Lots of different stuff in this video. Fish breeding, projects, nature, all kinds of stuff. Use those big red tail cats when you can have these. Fit a lot more of these in a pond. There's a rainbow fish with them. Little pond update and visual. And yes, it really is this quiet in here. Just gotta say, some of these rainbow fish are just huge. Rainbow fish get a lot bigger than people would think. Holy moly, look at this Bacopa. Monerai has grown up out of this tank and over to this light. Got it in this tank too. Cool plant, Bacopa Monerai. And I do sell some of that on the website. Be interesting to see what it does. Oh, it looks even cooler from over here. Look at this one, it goes all the way. About to dip into that tank. I'm gonna let it. Well, until I gotta move them all. I don't know when that's gonna be, cause still work in progress. Got some tanks in, racks up, working on the next phase. Got these all sanded and cut. Got to, I would already be painting these, but I'm gonna have to cut boards for the tops of these. Tomorrow I ran out of dead, I ran out of daylight, sanding and cutting them all. So I stayed up way too late working on everything else. Working on getting these tanks in. Pond is awesome though. Look at them rainbow fish. Some of them are getting huge. Dehumidifier finally kicked on. I do keep that on. It only runs whenever I'm not running my AC though. I've noticed. Also gonna move some fish around. I've got these. Got these really long, thin, beautiful panda guppies. This is what the female looks like. He's insane. I think she may be about ready to give birth. I don't know if I should put a male in or not. Maybe give her a little more time. I don't know. She may be egg bound. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a male in with her. I'm gonna leave these blue coral platies in here. See if they do some breeding. Also caught a few rainbow fish babies out of a Chonothernia alani tank set up. As you can see, they're in with a ton of Daphnia. So they have plenty to eat in there. And then also collected some platinum rice fish. Put them over here. Got some bigger ones over here. Living it up with that Daphnia. And the light is off on this tank which is a good time to catch rainbow fish. I'm gonna catch the sea alani out of there. I'll give them a couple of hours after the light and then I'll come in with the flashlight. Which I have the perfect spot in here is one of the tanks that I moved. So if they do try to jump, they can't jump out. But I don't think they will because I'll train them. These rainbow fish are always so personable. Can't tell by now. I get distracted by these guys a lot. It's awesome. Catfish coming out. Things are cool too. These platinums look awesome with this ambient lighting. Oh, they're in love. Oh, sweet. He's not running. He's not running. Good sign. And since we got softer water and being guppies, I got my own little GH booster I made here. Pretty much that nine low CG GH booster, all crushed up, put it in a bottle. 
Just give us some little mineralization. Guppies love that mineralization. So does guppy grass. I don't know how much that is, but at least I know it's in there. Might as well give my shrimp some too. You know they like that hardness and they consume it, so. Groups like it too. I always gotta kinda shake it too as I spray. It will get clogged. Really, I mean, just being GH, not much anything I keep doesn't like this. I'm just adding a little bit. Now this is that tank with those rainbow fish. Look in a filterless tank. See all those little things that were running around? Tiny little things move all over. That's all the food. This doesn't even have Daphne in it, in it yet. I'm actually about to seed it. It's a good way to find fry too. Up top, oh, here we got one. Trying to scoop them out. Put this Daphne in here. And scoop this guy. Try. What the heck was that? Did I do that? You can see the baby. And with the rest he goes. Now even though I'm wanting babies to be in here, those ones that were surviving with the adults, they're gonna get bigger than the ones that hatch faster. That's why I'm taking them out. This table and Lily is just looking spectacular. Look at that, beautiful. Well, rainy day. Can't get plywood cut. Just slows things down. Celebi's half big. Beautiful specimen. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those long fins. This is how they should look. Another female over there. I don't know if that's a male or a female right there or not. I think it's a female too. And since I'm getting ready to move all this, in the meantime, I've been kind of consolidating, but breeding as I go by. But I also try to breed out some fish as I do it. For instance, I got a bunch of cherry barbs in here. I had them separated out, and then I had this tank empty, threw them in for a little while. So hopefully I get some babies out of it. If not, whatever. It only took like a day to put them in there. But now I've got these four in here. We'll keep them in there for a while. If I see that these females start getting skinnier, then I know that they're throwing their eggs then i'll go ahead and scoop these out and put them in another tank but yeah eventually all these have to get moved in those soon hopefully soon it's getting so close Just working on next phase i didn't get any baby maculosis but man i got a lot of daphne in here look at all them huge a lot of them are super dark because they're super prego. Nice little pink flamingos. It's like 5.30 in the morning. First coat on. I don't know what star this is. It's shining so bright. It's even brighter than that earlier. In comparison to the moon and star. I think that's Mars next to the moon. It's a red planet. And all my pinagars in one space at one time. I don't know what they're doing, but that's a nice chunky female. Male, male. I think I got too many males in here. So three males and one female over there. You can see she seems to be fond of one of them. Been on my bucket list to breed these guys forever. And lots of painting this week. Working on them racks. And more painting. Can't wait to get these off the ground. Well, ran out of paint, but at least now I can work on putting these together. Getting a few racks built here. Subscribe if you wanna see the full build videos of all this, where I help and teach you how to do it yourself. These rope fish are always so lovey-dovey looking.
Yeah, you're so cool. I just love watching them. They're breeding. Oh, here comes the third. Well, hello. That one is chunky. They're so cool. And the Brazilian Penny Wart is ready and looking good. But it's on the website. Check it out. LRBAquatics.com Now, luckily, this doesn't have the wobble or the other one I built. So, the one that's wobbly, I'm going to use it for the middle because I can fix it best in the middle. I want something nice and flat on the bottom and nice and flat up top. Because if I had to use a wonky one, I'd end up with something like this. Again. So we're painting through the morning and the night and working. The other night I didn't get to bed till 9.30 in the morning. Up at noon. Keep on going. Because it's hard to sleep when you're excited about doing this. And getting it done. Skid it. Keep on trucking. <laughs> working on these racks. Got that one up. About to do this one. But I'm going to have to wait to do this project so I can get another project going. Because when it comes down to it, paint time is kind of dictating the process of these projects. That's why it's good to have multiples of these racks going, though. Because then I at least have something to fill the gap while the paint is processing. Which I'll show you more here in a second. Gotta love them rainbows, dude. They are definitely super prego, these Silabese half beaks. I think that's the male garden, two females over here. Look like they're about to pop any time. You notice they're over here in this algae. I was gonna clean that up, but maybe I should just wait. And that's how it goes with algae tanks. It's like, oh, well, I wanna clean it up, but I don't because eggs, babies, nurseries, fish love algae. Now it's lights out, bedtime. Finally go get some rest and sleep before the sun comes up. Walk home. <laughs> One day we will get Zorro fixed. But to be honest, I actually kind of like the walk. And tonight, it's super cloudy tonight. But a lot of times it'll be clear, lots of beautiful stars. Heck, if it wasn't for the water moccasins and stuff, I would just walk without the flashlight. I had to pick up some more supplies, about to jump into it. We'll be updating you guys on a lot of this stuff coming up, so if you want to know what happens next, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you'll get the notification, and it definitely helps if you put on the notifications. And then I'll help keep you up to date what's going on, that way you can watch this stuff really happening around the fish room. And if you guys have any experience on some of these things, or just want to share some comments, or maybe leave a comment for the algorithm, or let me know how you liked the video or didn't like the video or what you would like to see done differently. Now, obviously, I can't do everything to please everybody, but I always strive to do better f for you guys because without you guys, I would not be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you all for your awesome support, helping me build this up. I really appreciate it. And eventually, hopefully soon, I'll get something going on for the memberships. That way I can offer you members more of something when you do join to help build this up. Because without you guys, seriously, you members, you super chatters and supporters are making all this possible. And the more we get support, the more we can do. But I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one.